Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing very well. I'm doing pretty good so far today. So today we have a new job and this time we have the HP EliteBook 8403 laptop motherboard and it's came in repair. It's not power on. So now I will try to fix this boot. So let's try to fix it. Okay, uh, this is a motherboard part number and as you know, unfortunately there is no board view or schematic for this motherboard. So it will be a little bit difficult to fix for me. So, first of all, I will check the condition of this motherboard. So, let's let's plug in. So, as soon as I plugged in, it's not turning on. And look at my power supply. It's only taking 0 0.004. So, let's remove this RDC Sims battery. And this charge. It's plugged in again. It's it's still same. So what should I check first? I will check main power rail which is 19 volt and uh, you already know what is the main power rail. So when we connect this charger in this jack this bolt is coming through this MOSFET to whole motherboard. So let's check first MOSFET here. So as you can see we have 19 volt. Let's check other side and look at here. There is no voltage. Gate also zero. So let's check the impedance in this main power rail. So I set my multimeter in beep mode and let's check here. Check this gate and this current sense register here so all the line is clear the main power rail is not short to ground that line is clear but we have no voltage in this side and in this current sense register only 4.27 volt so in this case I will check this charging IC. Let's check under my microscope. Here as you can see this charging IC BQ 24780S. Let's plug in again. So I already set my multimeter in DC mode. So first of all I will check PCC supply for this charging IC which is pin number pin number 28 here. Here is a 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 28 here. So as you can see no VCC voltage for this IC. So I already fixed this kind of motherboard. A lot of motherboard I already fixed so I have experience about this motherboard. So this VCC voltage come in through this resistor. So I'm now I'm going to check here and as you can see we have 19 volt and if I check other side there is no voltage. So let's check the evidence on this other side and look at here it's showing 205 ohms only. It's not normal. So this register connect with this pin and this capacitor. So here either this capacitor faulty or this charging IC because nothing is connected between this charging IC and this capacitor and resistor. So at first I will uh, remove this capacitor then I will check if this capacitor is good then I will replace this charging IC. So remove this capacitor from here. It look like good. Yeah. 
lihat Okay, as you can see, it's not fully short. Maybe half short or leakage because it's not giving any beeps. It's just showing some value on my multimeter screen. Okay, let's plug in again. And, and my power supply reading is same, nothing change. So let's check this resistor here. Now it's showing 1.2 volt only. So let's check this resistor value here. Yes, here you go. Maybe you got the problem. It's showing 3 mega ohms. But it should be 10 ohms only. So let's remove this register. Remove this capacitor as well. And now I'm going to replace from my donor board. Nicely melt. So let's take the value here. As you can see, it's eleven point eight ohms. Let's plugged in again and look at that it's turning on we have 18.5 other sides here also here also so let's replace capacitor So everything is done and it's already power on. So now I'm going to check the display is okay or not. It's plugged in and it's turning on. Okay, we have HP logo. So we successfully fixed this motherboard. It was very easy. We just measure some point and we just uh, check the VCC supply for BQIC, charging IC, and uh, we found nothing there. And then we, we just check the capacitor, it was leakage. Then we replace this capacitor and we check the register that it was a uh, higher value for uh, this capacitor maybe and then we replace this uh, resistor now it's uh, turning on everything is okay now so i hope you all are enjoyed this video if you like this video so please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon if you already subscribed my channel thank you so much